In this video, I want us to work through several, several different makers classes. In the last video, we worked out uh, the depreciation expense using straight line, and then we worked through and computed the, the book value and then the after-tax salvage value. Let's go ahead and redo that using the same cost of $110,000 up front. So our initial cost will be 110,000. Okay, this time we wanna go through and compute the depreciation expense using what's called the Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System. Now this is a three years makers class. When it's a three year class, you will have four different rates. Likewise, if this was a five year class, which we'll work on the next uh, slide, you will have six rates. If it was a seven year class, you would have eight rates, all right? So if it's, a, if it's, X, if it's an X year class, it will have X plus one rates. So let's work out the first one. So our cost is 110,000. The first year maker's rate is 0.333. So let's just take 110,000. And you can make a negative because it is, I guess, cost. And we'll multiply that by 0.3333. And this should come out to 36,003, excuse me, 36,663. And we'll do the same thing for the second year. So we'll take the 110,000. Multiply that by 0.4445. You should get 48,895. And again, if you're gonna put a negative, you can, that's fine. Um, and then the next one, we'll take the 110,000 Make a negative, multiply that by 0.14, excuse me, multiply that by 0.1481, and I got 16,291. And then finally, we'll take the 110,000. Again, make a negative, multiply that by 0.07. Or one, and I get negative eight thousand one fifty one. All right, so we've gone through, we've computed the depreciation expense for each of the four years. Now we need to figure out the remaining book value by year six. So we'll start out with our initial cost. So hundred ten thousand. And we'll take out our depreciation expense of 36,663. Then we'll take out the next year, 48,895. And then we'll take out the next year of 16,291. And we'll take out the final year of 8,000. Excuse me, this should be just 8,000. One fifty one. So let's go ahead and do that. So the asset had one hundred ten thousand dollars worth of value to begin with. It depreciated thirty six thousand six sixty three in year one. Then we take out the forty eight thousand eight eight nine five. So it has twenty four thousand four forty two left. Then we take out the sixteen thousand two ninety one in year three. So it had 8,151 left, and then we finally take out the 8,151 in year four. And so by the time we get to the end of year four, this thing has no book value. So if we went to year five, we went to year six, the thing would still have no book value, right? So in this case, the book value by end of year six would be zero, all right? So this thing has zero book value by the end of year six. So let's now compute the after-tax salvage value. So to compute the after-tax salvage value, we'll take the salvage value less 
the difference between the salvage value and the book value times t. So again, what was our salvage value? Well, if we went back, we had a salvage value of $17,000. So $17,000, because we could sell it by the end of year six or 17. And then we'll have 17 again. Again, this thing has no book value in year six, so zero going from the book value. And then multiply that by the tax rate of 0.21. So it's 0.21. So in this case, 17,000 less uh, we know this 17,000 minus zero is just going to be 17,000. So this will be 17,000. Simply multiply that by the 0.21. And that should equal 13,430. Okay. So because this thing had no book value by the end of year six, there's going to be a tax effect when we compute the after-tax salvage value. All right, so the after-tax salvage value would be 13,430. Now compare that to what you calculated earlier. So if we go back to the previous slide, because there was some remaining book value in year six using straight line, um, this basically wiped out the zero and it basically wiped out the tax effect associated with it. So your after-tax salvage value was higher. Okay, so using straight line depreciation as we did in this example here, uh, your after tax salvage value was higher. When we went over to a three year maker class, because the thing had no remaining book value, your after tax salvage value went down. Okay, so let's see what would happen if we used a different cost recovery system, say five year class. So in this case, again, our initial cost is 110,000. Okay. And we'll go through and compute the depreciation expense for each of these. So we'll have 110,000. Multiply that by the rate given to us of 0.1429. So this is 15,719. All right. And if you were to continue to do this, you should get the following numbers just to save time, so 26,939. Uh, year three, I got 19,239. Uh, year four, 13,000. I believe that's 739. Year five, I got 9,823. And then year four, I got 9,812. And again, I'm putting them as negative, just to let you know they're, they're an expense. And then we'll come over here to compute the remaining book value. So this would be 110,000 less the first year depreciation of 15,719. We keep going, so 26,939. Keep going, uh, 19,239. Take out 13,739. And we'll take out 9,823. And then 9,812. Okay. So, what would be the book value at the end of year six? So, I pulled up my financial calculator and we'll do 110,000. So that was our initial book value. We take out the 15,719 in depreciation after one year. We still have 94,281 in book value. After year two, we still have 67,342 worth of book value. We take out 19,239 and we still have 48,103 in book value. After year four, once we take out the 13,739, we have 34,364 in book value. Then we take out year five of 9,283, excuse me, 823. 
we have 24,541 in book value. And then finally, we take out 9,812. And so by the end of year six, we should still have book value of 14,729. All right, so now let's go down and compute the after-tax salvage value. So this would be the, sorry about that. Okay, so we have the after-tax salvage value equaling the salvage value less the difference between the salvage value and the remaining book value in the same time period times t. Okay, so the salvage value would be 17,000 less the difference between the salvage value and the book value. So the salvage value was 17,000 less the book value that we just computed as 14,729 and take that difference and multiply it by the tax rate. So this will be 17,000. I'm gonna go ahead and do what's in the parentheses first. Less 14,729. Multiply that by 0.21. So this would be 476.91. Bring down the 17,000 over here. So in this case, 17,000 less the 476, 91. And I got 16,523.09. So in this case, what happened? Well, relative to the previous year, in which the salvage value was 13,430, what happened? Well, because we depreciated less of the asset, right? Uh, in this case, we, there, is some, there, there still is some book value in year six of 14,729. Uh, it made the tax effect uh, much smaller, right? So in this case, it went down to 476.91, which caused the after-tax salvage value to go up. Whereas in the previous slide, because there was no remaining book value, it made the tax effect very large, and therefore uh, it drove down the after-tax salvage value of 13,430. Okay, and so that wraps up computing uh, depreciation using modified accelerated cost recovery for a three-year class as well as a five-year class.